here we are with Jesse Vargas at Maywood Box, uh, not Maywood, Mayweather Boxing Club <laughs> yeah. in Las Vegas. Jesse, uh, I just watched you spar six rounds. What were you working on? Just working on movement, you know, coming in, coming out, uh, hitting the body, hitting the head, just, just everything. I mean, we have a two, three different game plans for Gomez and uh, whatever style he wants to bring, come in fifth, we have three different styles to counter it. So you have plan A, plan B, and plan C. Yes, correct. Uh, do you have any worries about Gomez? He's a very aggressive guy at times. No, um, he's, he is a very aggressive guy. He's a tough fighter that comes to win and he doesn't give up and that's why uh, we made the fight with him. As everyone knows, we bring talent, we bring fighters that come to fight and they're going to put me to the test. And this is just another test, as I always say, that uh, we're going to have to overcome. He's a tough fighter, but I'm tough as well. I think I'm tougher. I think I'm stronger. I think I'm faster. I'm younger. So I got everything on my side, I think. You're I know. <laughs> You're moving up in weight, right? This is your second fight at welterweight? Yeah, second fight at 47. My first one was with Leonardo Tyner, that everyone knows he was a solid 47 pounder. You know, I didn't bring up anyone from 40 47 to fight me. I wanted to fight someone at that weight that was a strong welterweight. And I did, and I overcame it pretty easy. I mean, he was a pretty good fight, but I didn't have any problems. And I'm thinking with Gomez, I'm not going to have any problems as well. How do you feel? Do you feel strong at 147? I feel a lot stronger. I feel fast. You know, I feel like I have the, I still have the speed of a 140 pounder and uh, the strength of a 47. I just talked to your uh, conditioning coach, D.D. Hudson. Yeah. Uh, what does he bring to the table to help you to get stronger? Well, in my, he, we worked with him from my last fight with Tyner, mm -hmm. and everyone could see I was a lot stronger. I didn't get tired. You know, I finished the first just as I finished the tenth just as I as I started the first. So we'll, we'll be ready for Gomez. If he wants to fight, we're gonna fight. And I could throw ten, I could throw punches nonstop for ten rounds. And I showed it with Tyner. I'm gonna do the same thing with Gomez. If he wants to fight, I'm gonna come and fight him. Now you're gonna be on a very big stage again at uh, MGM Grand underneath Mayweather Coro. How does it feel? It feels great. Uh, yeah, I kind of get used to it. You know, I fought on the uh, Mayweather Ortiz, which anytime Floyd fights, it's one of the biggest boxing events, right? So, kind of getting used to it, uh, getting used to the lights, I guess you can say. Um, I'm getting closer to the main event, so I think it's going to be no different than the fight with Josecito. You know, getting used to it. Yeah. Uh, you think we're going to see uh, Jesse Vargas uh, headlining at the MGM Grand one of these days? I think very soon. I hope this year, but you know, let's be patient. I have to talk with my advisor, Heyman, and he'll tell me when it's when it's time. Okay, thank you very much, and good luck, Mayfield.